Hello everyone, this is Jitendra and welcome to JK Online Classes. In this video of how to improve your English, today I'll tell you how you can introduce yourself as a fresher in any interview. Okay, so as a fresher, first of all you have to keep in mind that whatever you say for introducing yourself should be in a confident way. Okay, you have to be very confident that you are saying the things will be clear for the person who is sitting before you. Okay, so as a fresher, you can start your you can start your interview or as a for introducing yourself by saying your name after that you can say your place of birth then your educational qualification then objective of joining the institute or the company then your hobbies and then your curriculum personal personal information okay so these are the five basic points which you have to keep in mind always as a fresher to introduce yourself in any company Okay, so what are those first five, five things? First is your name. Okay, that your name, it should be clear and full name should be said before the interview. Okay, so whatever your name is, like as if I take example of myself, then I'll introduce myself to the interview that my name is Jitendra Kumar Mehta or myself Jitendra Kumar Mehta or I am Jitendra Kumar Mehta. After that, I can say the place of birth of where i have where i was born like my birthplace is the city patna of bihar so i'll say that i was born in patna bihar then i can say my educational qualification of my 10th board 12th board and higher educational qualification whatever it is like any graduation or post graduation of phd okay so whatever highest educational qualification of yours is you can say then you can say the objective you have to you should say okay not you can or you have to you should say the objective of joining the institute like after joining the institute what will be your motive okay like how you will help in growing that particular institute or organization and always try to keep in mind that whatever was your background related to educational qualification you should have uh, to keep the knowledge of that background whatever your educational qualification is that is the knowledge basic knowledge at least the basic knowledge of that educational qualification should be remembered properly because they can they are asked mostly if, if your educational background is of different uh, different then the job we are applying for then it can be related like every subject every subject is related to other subject therefore every branch is related to other branch uh, we cannot say that uh, biology is related to physics but the equipments which are used in biology to surgery and to do surgery of any patient is uh, uh, our machines which are made with the help of physics so almost every subject is related to any other subject what you can do is that you have to keep in mind that the relations between the your object uh, your objective and the company's objective should be same so after saying the company's objective you can say uh, you can say the hobbies like whatever you do for uh, your time pass uh, like you do like reading uh, playing cricket uh, writing reading novels watching movies whatever you do your hobby is and after that you can share your personal information your personal information like your father's name mother's name uh, your date of birth your email address your email address if you have your website then you can also and if you have any extra skills if you have any extra skills that should also be that can also be mentioned in your resume or in your introduction part okay if you have any extra skill that can also be uh, that can also be included in your introduction part so these are the five basic parts what are those uh, first thing is to tell your name then your birthplace then your educational qualification then the objective behind joining the institution or the organization and the last one is your personal the information and hobbies and uh, stay confident be confident while facing the interview